Alright, I'm gonna play some Dot Age. I've played some of this off stream. And, uh, just to get past the tutorial stuff. And also get used to it, because, uh, it's a tricky game. But now I'm gonna play it here. If you're curious, there'll be a VOD on YouTube later. Um, that covers me learning this game. But it's one of these games where death, plagues, just losing is going to be a thing. So you'll see. Okay. It's something where I have to build a city and just try to prevent death. <laughs> That's the gist of it. It is a long and merciless game. This is normal difficulty, by the way. I mean, I could turn out a difficulty, but anyway. Let me tell you a story. It begins before any of you were born. We had been traveling for days in strange lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we defeated the prophecy. It all began in a lush, secluded valley that we found after several days of traveling. Just a few more steps, you slackers. We're almost there. My feet hurt. Oh, I was so young then. I convinced some pips to follow me into the valley. This is it. This is the place I told you about. You have to stop here. You better not be lying about this new life, Elder. Impertinent! Follow my example and all will be well. Now get to work! We started work straight away on the construction of our village. Alright. Well, this is different. I already noticed new things. So I got to pick a starting spot. And, uh... Okay, from there. So I want something that's not too far away from food. And, uh, resources. So, I mean, this is, this is not bad. It's got a hunting ground nearby. Stone. Wood. Okay, I'll pick you up. Alright. Get food gathering right away. I'm going to build a lumber yard. I'm going to build a place to gather. So, it's going to be medicinal to begin with. And then, now this is the tr this is the part that I haven't quite gotten the hang of, is like, strategically we're the best place to um, position this. So, the way it works is it can't have anything adjacent to it, otherwise it loses production. Kind of hard to place it. Um, yeah, it kind of has to be out of the way. Probably here's the best bet. Okay. So we have our workers. Progress. You know, in terms of knowledge, um, Mountain Spring? I haven't seen this before. Stone leaking water. Okay. So we're going to set up a hunting tent, very first priority, in terms of research. 
Okay, so... One person will be in charge of food. One will be harvesting. I'll get some medicinal herbs to begin with. And then I'll chop some wood. And this will be my turn for a while. I've learned to not... The first time I played, I did aggressive expansion and it didn't work. Second time, I calmed it down a bit more. And it seemed to work a bit better. But ultimately, man, it, it gets insane how it snowballs into disaster. But I'm gonna do this whilst, um... You know, researching trapping. But I've had a lot of fun with this game so far. It's pretty neat. Okay, I think that's enough lumber production for now. I just want to get like a pile of it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to work on is a dwelling. Shall I wait? I'll do one more turn. Because this bush will get... Uh... What's the word? Like, used up? Okay, that's used up. So now... I'm going to destroy it. He's going to go off food duty for a minute. And then we're going to construct our first house there. So that's already good for medicinal stuff. Okay, I'm going to change the output now. This. Change it to berries. Okay, and whilst this is happening, construct a dwelling. Okay. You can go over here. Alright, we're gonna have trappings. No, this is going to be good. Okay. Um, next. Pause this for a minute. I'm going to make... That. Very well positioned, this one. And now we pick the next thing to research. So, I don't have any water nearby, I'm not going to go with fishing. Okay. Um... I'm going to start community, because I cannot neglect that. You'd be surprised how important that is. Contributing to health, but I don't have health unless it's the start of the event now. Okay. We haven't had anything bad before us yet. Okay. 
Okay, so we got one person not doing anything. They can go chop wood. I'm not going to expand the population just yet. But we got someone hunting. Let's just keep it steady. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Doom is on its way. The apocalyptic vision. I remember it vividly. The visions came to me. I saw the future and the world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. You brought us here to die? Don't be stupid. We're here for a reason. We can't... We can stop this. Let me tell you about my prophecy. Okay. According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. And the Doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. An omen. Okay. You're calling me a liar? Work hard and the Dooms can be defeated. This is what I saw. Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. Okay. We have been cursed, and Omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. All right. Already dealing with heat? Jeez. Okay. No problem. Um, stop wood production for a minute. I don't have a well yet. Okay. That's fine. Um, just make sure we're on top of food. I will try and prevent one of these at least. The village gains two nature. This is new to me. Okay. Um, we need a puddle to deal with heat. Okay, you're gonna stop on food temporarily. I haven't started making new villages because I want to get my food supply under control first. two people onto this. This will at least combat this. Uh, 
Um, we'll leave that for now. One dude gathering food. I'm not sure I'm gonna get this done in time. But I wanna combat the fear at least. Okay. That's done. Okay, uh, get him off that. So get one back onto food. Dismantled. Okay, we got it. Okay, now I need to get a pond going. What is happening now? One got stunned. Okay, that's annoying, but could be worse. But, like, how was I supposed to deal with that early? <laughs> Unless I knew the pond puddle thing was required. It's okay. I'm gonna prevent future bad things from happening. Put it here. You need to stop. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna expand. I need to pick a new research. Um, okay. So that's been handled. Um, I'm gonna prepare for these disasters. Uh, so, getting a way to generate heat and a way to generate cooling. Important. It's only three days, so it should pass quickly. Okay, but now that this berry bush is in range... Okay, back to, back to harvesting. Um, okay, so now... Oh, we need a well. Hold on. Mountain spring. Same thing. Hey, Star, how's it going? Wait, oh, someone's not doing something. Um, gather food. As long as I'm keeping food at an acceptable level. Oh, mine, how's the game going? I'm doing alright. Just kick him back. The game, not sure. <laughs> this is one of these games where it's just going to end in disaster. And once one thing goes wrong, it just snowballs. So we'll see. Right now, humble beginnings. Everything's fine, sort of. I'm just trying to get my footing. Uh, what do I want to do? I guess just stay the course. This dude's gonna come off stun in a minute. I think this is his last turn stunned from the heat. Oh, 
or not. I'm not too many more. T oh no, there he is. Nice, no, fine. Okay, cool. Um, all right. What am I gonna get him to do? I guess keep food supplies up. I don't want to make a child yet because I'm worried. Just food's not gonna last. Oh, revelation? Nice. Okay. Mountain spring. Some buildings cannot be built on flat terrain, for example. Mines can only be built on rocks. Oh. Huh. Uh oh. Um. Ooh, I didn't think this through. Where is that? I can't place it here. I can't place it there. I can only place it here. But okay, at least, at least I can expand. Um, you come off food duty. Okay, uh, next, let me just see if I've got everything I need. I know, wait, this, get the bonfire. And then I'm prepared for the seasons. Okay. I think I need to put another sign. I see an unknown event coming upon us. This vision is confusing, but there is hope we can fight it. I have five turns to resolve this. Okay, um... has to be on rocks. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I guess put it here. Hey, I need a new thing to research. Um, Go with the barbecue, then at least my food supply will be okay, because I got chickens. Once I get that going, then I'll start expanding population. Okay, now a mountain spring. There you go. Um, I'll leave that one. Actually, I'll be fine. Do that. Get two of them. Because this is a problem. Uh oh, they're gonna take another turn. Kind of wish you could focus, but it is what it is. I can't. Okay. 
now we need someone bring us water. Two turns, I'm not sure if it's enough to sway it. Um, need someone doing this. Okay. disaster. Oh, what is going on? This heat thing. I won't be able to sway this event. It'll be too late. Um... Just have to hang in there until this arrives. <laughs> no chance. Ugh, damn it. Oh, the, the food source caught on fire. Okay, great. Well, I tried. At least I have the building to deal with it now. Um, I can expand in this direction and then at least there's... There's more berry stuff here. I'm gonna have to go back to wood cutting. Okay. Okay. I think I've reached a point where food is gonna be stable. Alright, so one person into the barbecue pit. Uh, what am I researching now? A grave. Oh no, we definitely should research that. People are gonna die. <laughs> Without question. Um, okay. Well, now that food will be stable... Who am I gonna take off duties for a minute? Go make a baby. Should be okay. All right, now go back to hunting. We need wood again. Okay, this time this is handled. Start cooking. Um, do we have? I guess let's just go with this for now. Okay. 
I don't have anyone researching. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> you found the fish. Good, good work. That's nice. Okay, um, the heat is handled, so you're going back to research. Are you kidding? Nice. Okay. I can fill it in my bones. The next season is coming. Get ready. Okay, five. I'm fine for it. Um, I should probably set up another lumber area. Yeah. Has the kid grown up yet? Not yet. The important thing is food is stable. And I can leave this for like emergencies later. We've been cursed. Omen is coming. Something bad is going to happen. This is fine. Dealt with it. Okay. Um, so now we repeat the process. Make baby. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay, uh, go back to lumber cutting. And you will expand over here. I'm just thinking ahead, like how I want it to expand. Two more food sources. So I can put houses over there. Lumber, we're kind of running out. This is going smoothly so far. <laughs> like, other than the heat at the start, that's fine. Like, I've, I've got a way to manage it now. grave. Season change. Which is, I guess it's heat again. Remove snow from all terrain. Remove frozen from all buildings. Okay. 
Well, the well is important now. I see, I see an unknown event. The vision is confusing, but there is hope we can fight it. Okay, um... Graveyards can be used to take care of your dead pips. A special berry action is available to the Grave Keeper pips who work in the graveyards. This action takes the corpse of a dead pip and places it in the grave. Buried pips no longer generate sickness fear, but hope instead. Yeah, I'm definitely setting that up as soon as possible. Okay, um... One off lumber. And you're going to expand down this way. Take the other one off lumber and need to start preparing for this disaster. Um, a pond. That might be worth doing. Depends how much I find that threatening. I'm debating what I want. Probably want that. Okay. What am I going to do with you? Um... I will make a grave here. I'm preparing. <laughs> it's morbid. But I'm preparing. For the worst. Get, get going. Yeah, ugh. Okay, well. Okay. That's okay. Well, now I have to balance things out. Alright, um, let's expand this way. What do we need? We need wood. There we go. That should be sorted. Someone has to be permanently on wood now. Going on, what are they doing? Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> Good.
Very hopeful village. Okay. Um, get one off wood cutting. Dude, this heat is out of control. I'm barely keeping it to 50%. Oh my god, this heat. It's winning the fight. Um, I need to combat this heat. It's not gonna it's not gonna be done in time. Um Probably gonna lose this. Why does it have to be so annoying? <laughs> Is something gonna light on fire? Or oh, stunned? Wait, oranges? The village uses some of the food, looks a bit funny. No, if we don't want sick, forbid it. Get rid of the food. That's, that's fine. Could have been worse, but I definitely need to deal with this. Okay. Why is the sun so annoying right now? This is just enough output to keep it even. I need to skew it in my direction. Um, okay. It's too lumber. Um, better off tech. I need to win this fight against the sun. The worst thing that can happen is one of them gets stunned for heat. Doom event is coming soon. I don't know. Okay, but that's fine. Um, wait, no, it's not. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I have to take him off food production for a minute.
Okay, I have to, uh... Get them back on food. Once this heat event passes, then we'll, we'll see. I'm just trying to slow stuff down. <laughs> Alright, I like my odds. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're good. Unlock cats. Pips thinks this building is no longer needed, and it would better use the scrap. What? No. No. We need it. What are you talking about? That's gonna get rid of that. Yeah, destroy the expansion so then we lose access to the wells. Great idea. Okay, um... This is no longer doing impending doom. I'll still deal with that. See how hard it is to keep your head above water in <laughs> this game. Like, man. Okay, one more turn of cool gathering and then they can go do other stuff. As long as that's covered. In fact, I can probably do that now. Um... We don't have lumber production going. No, you know what? Give him one more turn, and then I'll make a new pip. But then I have to set up more food production. Okay. That's handled. Now... Um... Let's do this. This is pretty much just delaying it. It's slowing it down enough that... It's gonna be a coin flip. Food, one of you on research. Okay. 
can go one more turn. It's going to be a coin flip, pretty much. Please. Uh oh. Ah! Damn it. What's it gonna be? Anger. One pip dies, the village gains 26 fear. One one villager dies. We can bury him. I prepared. I prepared for this. I prepared for exactly this. <laughs> Having that much hate is insane. Like I may as well just stop playing. We have failed and met. The doom. If we continue like this, there'll be nothing left. However, I feel like this is not the end. Let's see it now. New stronger and challenge. D don't tell me there's new challenges. Okay. Unknown event. Omen season. Okay. Um. We basically have to have someone permanently on this now. Charm. It can't be these two. The game is sandbagging me already. <laughs> It's not even that far in, and it's sandbagging me pretty hard. Okay, but this is generating hope. Oh good, it went back to positive. Alright, we're good. It's at zero, so we're okay. Take them off. Um, let me just make it neutral again, and then... Um, hang on. What are we missing? I need wood production. One of them can go to research after this. Okay, um, research. I think I need to make another child. To replace the person that died. Okay. Okay, another kid. There is nothing horrible happening anytime soon, so. Oh, yeah, you go to research. Um, you go here. Okay, I think, 
think it's finally letting me. Someone has to be allocated to wood chopping permanently. I will make another child once this is built. And they are on wood cutting permanently, that's fine. I just wants to make here. Yeah. See, an unknown event is coming. Okay, here we go. This is what I've been preparing for. Um, oh, wait, it's one more turn. Stop gathering it. We need to deal with this impending disaster. Throw the balance back on our side. Oh, that's that plus two. Okay, hang on. He doesn't have a job yet. Oh, yeah, I made a mistake. There we go. And that should deal with the threat. Hey, Lolo, how's it going, man? How's things? Can I... Um, so, let's see what I'm doing next. There's a water source over here. I could probably make fishing. Okay. Not enough wood, apparently. Tired as hell, alright. <laughs> yeah. Feel that. Um, I'm alright, man. Just middle of the week. I've been playing this game a little bit. It's one of these, like, games that'll just continuously kick your ass, but it's fun. would this, this require? 12. Okay. Bit of resource management village building. Yeah. It's one of these things that, like, you have omens that you need to deal with, that you need to produce enough of each. There's, like, fear, which 
a number of things generate fear, so you need to like create little things that make the villagers happy. Then there's environment. So right now I'm dealing with heat, so I'm using springs to deal with it. And then this one... I'm not sure how to make nature better, but you know, I have a good chance of pulling ahead if uh, that happens. But it snowballs pretty hard, like when things start going wrong. So the expectation is you will lose eventually. In all likelihood. So it's hard, like balancing population growth and making sure you have enough food, but also dealing with the doom. But yeah, that's fun. I think this is fine now. I can get this person off it. Um, and instead, what can we d dedicate resources to? Generate more food. Did I have a play against the storm? I haven't yet, no. But I do have it. That's been recommended. I checked this out off stream. It was kind of late at night and I didn't really want to stream, so I decided to give it a go. And I got into this. Because you can take each turn at your own time, and yeah, it's, it's good. Just wasn't sure if this was something that people would be into if I streamed it, but I figured give it a go. I'll what now, old man? Nature, oof. It's an omen as well. Nothing I can do is just gonna happen. Okay, well this is fine. We got a surplus of what? Three? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, um... Okay, that's gonna get upgraded, and that should deal with any future heat threats. This is a good one. Similar concept with roguelike aspects. Oh, this is a roguelike as well. So, you know... Probably very, very similar. It's su succeeded. Whoa! I got some hemp fields for free! <laughs> Alright, nice. I mean, they're going to be next to a cemetery, but that's cool. Okay, um, that's going to take another day. We'll deal with the heat. I think wood's in enough surplus that we can do more of this. Yeah, the first run I did of this, man, it was a disaster. The VOD will be on YouTube later, but wait, what do I need? I need to train a profession. Okay. Um, you can come off that. Come train here. You started your second job? Oh, cool. 
Must be relieved. I'm gonna dismantle this one that's no longer necessary. We'll be okay. There we go, they got trained as a guard. So that's prime land right there. We don't want to take that up with an unnecessary thing. You're having to give your best impression of a functional human in the morning again, though. <laughs> ah, you'll be fine. It's something I'm sure a lot of people here can relate to. Okay, um, well, let's deal with this in the meantime. I don't know if that gets rid of the tile, I'm worried it does. I'll put it here for now. But this is just preparing in advance for something I'm definitely going to need. Okay, um... Well, let's continue hunting. You feel pretty useless until either noon or at least a second or third coffee. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a morning person either. Okay, the battle against the sun is going fine. Okay, we don't want it producing heat. We want to... Let's make another baby. What are these omens, though? They're weather-based disasters. There's, there's different categories. So omens are things you can't stop that are just going to happen. But then there's disasters, which the bar represents, like, the success rate, right? So right now, there's nothing going on. There's no heat generating, so I'm just making sure I have stuff to deal with it. And then this one is, like, fear. So you'll see when one comes up. The old man will be like, Doom is coming, and then it'll... We'll start getting serious. The stuff that becomes natural disasters and you can't do anything about it, it's just deal with it. Okay. One on wood production, one on food production. Yeah, so now, this is the omen now. Next day the omen's gonna happen. And it's a nature-based omen, so let's see what happens. at the start because I wasn't dealing with heat properly like my villagers were getting stunned from the heat yeah good yeah no that's that's it building on fire there's the omen right there <laughs> the thing that I've made in advance to deal with a colder climate is biting me in the ass it's great Yeah, the, you, the next season is upon us. The thing, the thing that I preemptively made <laughs> to deal with this next season. Oh, what's that? Oh, you, you want to think ahead? Go fuck yourself. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's put it out here. We've successfully dealt with this. I don't need to... I don't need to deal with this anymore. Um, okay, what are we going to do? What I need to do is... I need to also have another cooking station. Sun, that tooltip. I think I need to expand again. Probably a bad spot for it. That, yeah, no, that's cool. I can't see. I need to move it this way. Okay, that'll, that should deal with it. I'm setting up for population growth. Okay, good. And this enables fishing over here, so that's perfect. Okay. Um, I have two that need to do something. Let's, since they're free, I'm going to generate some hope. So that I'm on top of that. You will lose water as they are over the cap. What is over the cap? I don't think I'm losing water. I guess if I expand over here, then I can make another one of these. Okay, um, when the babies grow up, they will be on wood cutting. I think we're okay. Uh, hold on. What's going on? We need someone else cooking. Alright, enough. You guys go back to your jobs. Um, I'll have one start gathering... Just in preparation. Have some backup food. So far I've got it together. <laughs> if you were to see what was happening the first time I played, nowhere near as good. I was already dealing with disasters. The population was really unhappy with me. What does this come under? I 
hunting. Oh, there we go, tanning racks. Yeah. Okay, I need more wood. Um, set up another lumber yard up here. It looks like we need more more children. <laughs> I don't think I'm losing water. Like, why does it keep warning me? My water is like at 40. Okay. Um, Hunter's Lodge. We're going for that big upgrade. I'm going to have to consider doing workbenches and stuff. Here we go. I see an unknown event coming. The vision's confusing, but there is hope we can fight it. What is it? It's nature-based. Well, how can I fight it? Three more nature? What gives nature? Herb picker. No? What contributes to nature? This new job is a threat to your eating habits. Another bakery situation. Oh no. <laughs> Control thyself. Um. How do? Conditions, resource tax. This is a problem. How do I deal with this? I don't think I have any buildings that provide that. Produced by Garden Park Altar Brines. Okay, hold on, change of plan. I have to go for this, but I, it's not going to be done in time. Alright, um. Crap. This event might do horrible things. If it's one per turn. Yeah, I don't know. Season change. Okay, no more heat. This is good. But now we have cold to deal with. Already? 
Okay, we have to start producing. So, I mean, food is at a nice level, so let's just start. Oh, see, I need... Yeah. Yeesh. Wood is going... Wood is going down. I need more wood. Um... You can stop. What's the goal of this game? Survive. There's an apocalyptic event that's going to happen at the end and you just need to survive it. So you need to have built everything well enough that it can overcome that calamity. What are you doing? I'm, I'm worried when they go off to the woods. Oh, yes! <laughs> Good work. Okay. I got a little nature protection. I might be okay with that. That one might be just a coin flip. Hey, Sherry. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. All right. I need to retain it as a... That'll keep it even. So this is going to be a coin flip. Um, food levels are fine. I think. Yeah, they're, they're kind of fine. I'm just looking at what I have at the moment. I kind of need to let them produce lumber for a little bit. Okay. At this point, when I played the first time, it was already disastrous. Like, half my town was sick, and they weren't doing anything, and the illness just gave more illness. I had a... Half of my villagers had diarrhea. <laughs> Not making it up. They were incapacitated by diarrhea, and that was my demise, was slowly but surely it spread to the rest of the town. Yeah. But I was learning. It's... The I've made some silly mistakes. Now this is this is going well. Not a great way to go. Well, they eventually they gave up and they all ran into the woods and just abandoned me, and that's what happened. Okay, I don't want to exp expand too much just yet. Um, oof, it's going down even more. It's not going to be 50-50, it's going to be... Ugh, yeah. Well, I, I did my best. Um, okay. Oh no, I see, I will lose water because I've hit the cap. How much I can store. That's fine. That's what it's warning me about. Alright, let's see what happens.
Yes! <laughs> Alright. I passed. Mother Nature. Efficient. Oh, we got an efficient wood. Building efficiency. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. That's gonna output wood much better. I'm going to use this to my advantage right now. And we are going to, um... Go another dwell... Oh, wait, actually, not, not dwelling first. Um... I might actually do it over here. It makes more sense over here. Okay. And someone can work on this as well. Wait, oh, one person isn't working. Um, you know what? Get some wood. This one is about, this one's just over a coin flip. But I couldn't really do much better. Come on, man. Watch me fail this one. Of course. I succeed, like, th that's my luck, is like, I succeeded the low odd, but then I missed the one where it was in my favor. Oh, that's a bunch of food. Crime. Well, it could have been worse. I thankfully had a stockpile. I will generate some heat for a while. Um, yeah, then we need to re-enable this for a little bit. Before I even consider expanding again. Okay, what am I researching? Uh I'll continue the the hunting thing. That feels like a wise move. Given that's how I'm getting the majority of my food right now. Oh, and tomorrow's an omen as well. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's gonna happen? <laughs> Argument? Stressed. Okay, so this fear is now increasing. Yeah, I need to get on to having villagers permanently be sitting. I mean, food supply is kind of going back to normal. Wood's at surplus, so let me... Get another dwelling over here. The 
this the city is huge like I, I don't think I've gotten it to this point where things seem to be good Once it's full, then I'll, uh, I'll make them sit, and that'll counterbalance that. Seventy-seven days, jeez. Ah, uh, what now, old man? Doom event. All right. It's a stress. Yeah. Okay. We need to. I need another villager. Um, stop that for a minute. They need to start counterbalancing that. I think I need another sitting area. Um, I reckon get rid of this. spot for it. I need to counter this immediately. Okay, finish that off. What's going on with the food? that lucky stone the village gains one ore I've never seen ore copper ore okay um let me look at this one person needs to get on this person needs to get on this. Alright, that was our food. I think this is like dire time, so we're going to stop that. I need to make this as, co as close to a coin flip as possible. This is going to be a little bit of the Dark Ages. <laughs> no knowledge will be produced. It's still going down, isn't it? What? <laughs> it's still going down, what can I do? It's fine. Okay, hold on. This is annoying. It's at plus eight. Don't, like, I can't research that in time. I can't take people off food to make another one of these. I might have to. Um... Do it. It's never going to be perfect, but... Okay. 
Okay. I will be lucky if I come out of this one without disaster. Why not? Dude, you needed to go work on that. I don't think I can overcome this. Like, plus eight is insane. Okay. It's slowing it down a little. Chop wood for a minute. I've slowed it down, but it's probably probably not going to work. I need to improve those buildings. Again. This is where it might start going south. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, but like, that's fine. Get you off here. It's just these two. Again, Christmas miracle if I make it over the line with this. Oh, there is no way. I need to start researching the other stuff, otherwise this is not going to work out. I may need to set up a second research center. Okay, um... Food supplies are at least fine. Alright, what is it? <laughs> this is not gonna work. Yeah, didn't think so. Ugh, I don't want to look. So much stuff in this game. Oh, that's a bad one. 5% chance daily that a pip becomes depressed. That is horrible. Because then they stop working for a while. What part of fight the doom do you not understand? Think would you fall wait? What? Something wrong? Ah, the apocalypse again! Can we go back home now? You clear those blockheads, I just saw the apocalypse. Yeah, this is probably where it goes south, just saying. Ugh, 
um, I'm going to have to aggressively go. Oh, it's, al it's already counting. Okay. Um, gonna get two off here. One go to knowledge. Get both these off. Um, where am I gonna? I'm making another research center. I'm getting off this hunter's lodge. I need to get this going. The combat doom. Okay, uh, now that this is back, you can go back to hunting, you go back to food production. Yeah, the problem is now it's going to skew towards getting worse, unless I have two people seated, seated permanently. Yep, there it is. 5% chance of depression, I get it, in the second turn. For seven turns, they're not doing anything. That's, that's cool, man. I need to make replacements. This is what happens, is like when you have something that has a percent to happen every day, slowly but surely your entire town gets enveloped in it. Unless it only happened once. I'm hoping it only happened once. But I don't see the lightning anymore, so maybe. Ah. Oh. They t okay, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, it's all going south. Uh, what am I going to do? Don't have enough wood, apparently. Uh, two, two of them are not doing anything now. What? Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? It's 5%! It's supposed to be 5%! <laughs> It's supposed to be a 5% chance. Three of them have depression now. One of them being wet. I don't know what that means, but... <sighs> oh 
Okay. I'm gonna have to take him off science. Um, it need I need wood to keep up food. This is so annoying. Like it's just snowball. <laughs> this number is getting bigger, and I can't counterbalance it. If one more villager gets depressed, I'm screwed. Well, that wasn't completed in time. Okay, um, that's going to produce like the smallest slither of nature. I can't do anything. What am I researching next? I haven't... I just... The game just keeps sandbagging me. I can't finish my fishing research because it just keeps piling it on. Well, there's, I don't think there's much I can do about that one. It's at plus 13, like, what am I supposed to do to counterbalance that? I have to make up 13 points. Can't look. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right. Well, I wasn't using those anyway. Could have been worse. Two pips are free. Why not? Not enough meats. Okay. I may have to stop research just to deal with this. Um forage. We need to go to backups. What now? Ah, oh, come on! Ah! Well, like, what, was... what workforce have I got now? I have three, three villagers that are capable of working. The others incapacitated because of depression and they got into a fight. Okay, uh, okay. 
I need to keep food. Well, not depression and that they got into a fight. There's depression, separate, separate problem, and two villagers getting into a fight. Not the same, the same thing. Ugh. Oh no. And now I have this to deal with as well. Now I have medical conditions. Which... I'm being sandbagged so, so hard right now, it's not funny. More than half my population can't do anything currently. This game looks kind of cute, but it seems like a stressful. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with these kind of games, whether you play this, RimWorld, um, just any sort of game that has city building and survival mixed with it, it becomes this. Start off optimistic about your little civilization, and then <laughs> one of them gets depressed. And it spreads to half of the population. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh. The baby has grown up, so that's, that's a positive. What am I going to do about this? I... I should build a medical center to deal with it. Oh, but I can't re- oh, Again, being sand at. Where is it? This one. Alright, well, I just- Cool. That's, like- there was dealing 13 fear. There was no way I was ever going to be able to win this roll. Like, either way, this was screwed. Every turn it was generating 13. I, I could not produce that with the villagers I have. Even if I was to put everyone to be happy, which you can't, there was no way this was ever going to go in my favor. Oh, everyone just gave up, I think. <laughs> I think everyone just said, fuck this. Oh no, the, 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 <laughs> the only two left are the two that got into a fight. Everyone else has said, fuck this. These guys, because they were stunned, they didn't leave. Well, now what? I'm just sitting there eating berries and the... <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Did what? <laughs> One of them got depressed! I have one villager. I can't even reproduce now because this one's depressed. I have one villager and there's no way to make a second villager. Did I read this? Like, what do you mean? Did I read this wrong? Like, I've read that it was just a 5% chance daily. 5% chance and somehow... I had nine villagers, seven of them got depression. What do you mean 5%? 
I'm I'm screwed. All this little villager can do is just gather berries to keep both of them alive. On the bright side, when there's only two people alive, you only need two food to survive. They're not screwed, that's the problem. 5% chance daily fine print at stacks? No. The fine print is go fuck yourself. <laughs> this can only happen to me. See what I mean? Everything was going so well, and then it just snowballed within a few turns to just. <laughs> yeah, now it's generating seven threat. Yeah, go go fix that seven threat with one villager. Do it. Oh, it's that you have two villagers. What happened? Did one of them get depressed with a 5% chance? Ah. I'm done. <laughs> he got sick and now he's stunned. Now now that's it. He burped and now he is stunned for 3 days. And now we wait. I made it to day 100, at least. I'm, how many times is it going to be depressed? I'm losing my mind. We can rebuild, just please. Wait, is he back? Oh, he's back. How do you, how do you, how do you deal with us? Okay, well, he is the sole survivor right now. Hold on, I'm walking this up. This is insanity. I can't believe I'm looking up depression in the wiki. Oh, there is there is no no chance. If I if I get this, like, what is my luck? Okay, I didn't. So apparently, the cure for depression is a cat. Go figure. Uh, yeah, 5% five, five chance of a pip becoming frozen. What are the odds? 
hmm, that seems pretty low. That seems like a very low chance. Probably won't happen. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. The thing, the thing is, I only just unlock pets. No, I appreciate it, but like, there's no, there's nothing on this. Note how there is nothing on this skill tree early on that will give you what you need to overcome it. Why can't we just pet one of the chickens? Just go pet a chicken. Baby chickens are cute. Chickens will peck your eyes out. I'm not a baby. A baby chicken will... I've been around baby chickens. They're very docile. They see depression as a weakness and attack. What? At this point, I'm just in it for shits and giggles. Just seeing how far this can go with just two dudes, one of them just not unable to move. One of them is chilling, doing everything in his power to keep us alive. All I have are two men left. Well, in this game, it doesn't matter who you are. They're not humans. They reproduce asexually. They're, they're pips, not humans. Hold on. I'm looking at this. <laughs> A pip with this ailment cannot move or work and will generate three fear every day. This effect lasts forever or until cured in a pub. One of them looks old, is there a cutoff? Um, the old man is me, my avatar. So he's the wise man, doesn't do anything, just bosses them around. I can't re reproduce with the old man, if that's what you're asking. I have 19 chickens. Despite their somewhat stupid and annoying behavior, Pips loves raising chickens. Because they found them funny. They also tasted good. Why am I still playing this? Like, I've, I've clearly lost at this point. <laughs> this is also like, uh, if you mess, if you miss these events, there's a three strikes policy. What's he doing? 
Oh, come on! <laughs> you just ate a whole bucket load of food, dude. Like, now criminal. Attracts. Like, it's bad. It's bad enough! Is that gonna cure your depression, though? No? Okay. Who's he really stealing from at this point? The hard-working man who is doing everything in his power to keep us alive. Carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. This wanker. <laughs> Just... Oh, man. Isn't asexual production just done by one person? Good point. I don't know the term. Gender doesn't matter. You just need two beings. I don't think there's even genders for them. It's just... Yeah, yeah, five percent. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Five percent. And now we slowly starve to death. He's stealing. He is stealing wood now. Is there an option to execute? Like, at this point, I'm soft-locked. <laughs> He's just gonna run out the food supply. Well, what can I do? Like, are you sure you want to continue? What do you mean? There is nothing I can do. I guess on the bright side, he's the only one eating. Oh, what now? I haven't won one of these that are, like, low percent. Please give the other one diarrhea. At least that'll be a way to go out. Just give them diarrhea. Carrot, hair, bunny, carrot field, rabbit, rabbit. Okay. Locusts. Okay, well, I wasn't using that field anyway. <laughs> the chickens will take over when I'm gone. Yes, this is the dawn of the civilization of chickens, where they become more sentient than man. And just build a new city over the bones of their ancestors. Ancestral oppressors. How have I lasted this many turns with, like... <laughs> I've lost. And yet he's still fine. You know what would be the biggest plot twist? Because the villagers ran away. Imagine they came back. Seven of them return, and then suddenly I recover. Like, how insane would that be? Don't think it's gonna happen. Can you please stop stealing shit? What are you doing? Alright. <laughs> and then there was one. Went to start his own town. He took food, he took lumber, he's starting a new city. They've all, like, all seven villages and that guy just started a new town. And now it's just the old man and this dude who's frozen solid. But hang on, what happens here? There's no... No one's eating, so there's no food, there's no... No one's eating. There's no food. No one's 
wasting food. <laughs> what is happening? Huh. I swear if I fail this coin flip, oh, dude, I should just go to bed. I should just go. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Look. Are you kidding? Come on. Yeah, no shit. He's distressed. He's frozen solid. I love that it just keeps asking me if I'm sure. Like as if there's anything else I could do. The chickens are pecking. <laughs> He's just gonna explode, isn't he? Like that's it. Okay. Insect events. There's gonna be bugs ev- There's bugs everywhere. <laughs> it's like, the plague is being brought upon us. It is truly the end of days. But no food is being lost. Look at how much water I'm producing, that's... I can't believe this is still going. And you know that the funny thing is, like... The, the big event, I have a chance of surviving it somehow. Yet another glorious day for the chickens, plentiful bugs to eat. <laughs> it's a great day to be a chicken. It's like, I could survive, I could survive that. So it's either the game is over, or I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win this, and it's gonna go on. Oh yeah, no, that'll, that'll, yep, that'll uh, definitely unfreeze me. <laughs> I reached winter, I got an achievement. Special harsher season. Crops do not produce. Animals do not replenish. I hope you have enough food to last all winter. What if you don't eat? Oh, there's no way. It's like plus 14 to cold. This is over in five turns. Turn 120. I'll just quickly jump to the end. I unlock more memories though, so there's more stuff. Protests? Why would I? Okay, I mean, there's some stuff in there that's nice. <laughs> there we go. Round of applause. I technically got to winter. This cursed land got the best of us, and so we are done. Wait a second, I... D did not think it would end like that, no. The story was a little different, let me start again from the beginning. Okay. I, I did a lot better than last time, you would not believe how horrible the first time I played this went, like, diarrhea, and then diarrhea spread to the entire town, and they all died. 
I don't know if this one was much better. I was like, at least I built out the town. I, I did worse. I did worse than Diarrhea City. How does that work? I thought this went better. I did worse than Diarrhea Town. Wow. <laughs> All right. Think the frozen guy had it worse. Just stuck there watching everything go to shit. Yeah, and those one asshole just stealing everything and then just walking past and going, "Well, see ya. Have fun. Good luck." All right. Well, that'll do it for dot age. I think there's enough to play, like, you know, one one town every time I think I play this, more or less. It's like a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more of this, because uh, I was on the fence about whether or not to stream it, because it's a little different to what I usually do, but it's fun. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end as well. Hope you enjoyed, despite the disaster that befell the town. If you do want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can watch me play other things in the meantime if you want by clicking any of those videos that pop up at the end. That stuff helps out a lot, so yeah, thanks to those that do that. Appreciate it. But I'm sure we'll do more of this soon.